Hi, welcome back to another Tuesday Tech Tips. This week, we're going to be exploring Flipgrid. Flipgrid is an online tool to increase student collaboration and build a community of learning by using short video responses. It's a really simple and effective tool to use, so let's jump in. Flipgrid is a video conversation app that allows you to pose questions or discussion points and learners then respond to this with a short video of themselves talking. The videos are posted to the grid and then other learners can see this video and respond to them. It's a great tool for learners who might be studying a course at a distance from other learners to feel part of the community of learning. It's a great way for you to engage with them as well. I've used Flipgrid myself and to my surprise I had a much better response rate than I was expecting. I found that learners who might have been reluctant to single themselves out for group discussion in a traditional classroom based session felt they were better able to control how they presented themselves to the rest of the group with Flipgrid. So to get started you need to go over to flipgrid.com and you're going to sign up with an educator login. So you're going to sign up for free so you can use your work account. Now I've already set up a work account that I'm going to show you, so I'm going to sign up this time with a Google account just to show you the process. So fill in all of this stuff. The age of your learners could be anything, but I'm going to put in there. University and college. The subject area of expertise is all. And I agree to the policy, so then you can go, let's go. And then you're presented with this screen and it's time to create a new grid. So we click the new grid button and we select the community type. Now, if you've got an institution that has its own email address, like a .ac.uk address, and all the students have that address, then you can use that school email and only people with that uh, .ac.uk address can join that flip grid. Otherwise, you're gonna go for PLC and public and share the grid. So only people with that code can access the grid. So we're gonna click PLC and public and we're gonna name the grid. I'm going to name the grid Tuesday Tech. And then it asks you to put in a code. Now I've already set up one of these to show you, but you can add your own code in there if you wanted to. So this time I'll put Mark's Tuesday and you can see that it's available and you will click next. And then you can launch the grid. You can change some of this, these settings later if you wanted to and have a different picture, but we're all set. As you can see, you get one free grid but you get lots of topics for that grid. So you're gonna keep, for, for the free account, you're gonna keep one grid with lots of different topics in there and, and only the students with that code can join. So what we're gonna do first of all is delete the grid that they've given you because otherwise you can't create your own. So we'll delete that topic, delete. I want to delete the topic. Okay, and then you're gonna create a new topic. So we click the new topic button you add a topic title, I'm going to call this test. You can change the video response time of how how uh, much time they that your learners have to respond. So let's put it down to one minute. You add a question or, or stimulus to it. So it could be, how can we reduce recyclable waste? How can we reduce recyclable waste in our workplace any ideas okay and then you if you f go further down you can change the, the topic pro privacy so I would depending on how many learners I was getting and how many people I was expected to respond I would turn on the video moderation which means I have to approve those videos before they're put on uh, obviously, you know, it depends on your learners, but it might be worth just making sure you look at them before they get posted. The active state, this topic status, is it active? You can change it to frozen and hidden. So once you've finished, you can actually freeze it. And you can also put an end date in here. Then it's asking you for some topic resources. So you can record a video. Uh, so by clicking that, you can get the webcam on and record a video that goes with it. And I'll show you one that I've done as well. And you can also upload a video that you've created. So if you've created a nicer video rather than using a webcam, you can do that, but it's nice and easy. And once you've done that, we can then create topic. And it's telling you there it's the Flipgrid Mark Tuesday, so we've got it. And then at the moment, we've got no responses. Now I'm gonna show you one already set up. 
so that you can see what it's like uh, with responses. And it's actually live, so you can pose a response yourself. So you can see here, I've logged in under my other account, and you can see that I've got a grid created, which is Geeson's Tuesday Tech Tips. And I've got a code here, Tuesday Tech. So if we click into there, and then you can see the topics that I've got. And this is the first topic that I've created. What tech tips do you want? So I've sent this out to all the people in education that I know to see what their responses would be to, to kind of share with you. So I would like you to uh, respond to this video. So if you watch this, I'd like you to create a video response on Flipgrid. And uh, so you can see here, this is what I've written. What tech tips do you want me to cover? I'm thinking of covering Padlet and Future Tech Tips. Uh, have people used it before? Do you think it'd be useful? There's a video that I've uploaded. Hi, so my discussion point is, what sort of videos do you want me to cover in the Tuesday Tech Tips videos? So there's a video prompt as well to go with the question or discussion topic. And so far I've had two responses, one from Flora. I've used Padlet before, and I think that other people who are new to teaching especially might find it a really useful tool. There's one, and there's the second one, this is Daniel. I'd really find Padlet a useful tool. I've never used it, but I've seen other <laughs> people use it. So, there's Dan. So, you get to see more and more of these, and, and the only people that can actually uh, post to this are the people with the code. So, it's GDPR compliant, you can freeze it, you can close it, you can delete it. Um, if you've got a .ac.uk account, then you can set it so that only those students with a .ac.uk account with, that's associated with your organization uh, can uh, join. So that's Flipgrid. It's a really great way of creating a community of learning. I'd like you to make that response as well. I'll keep checking. Uh, I've set it so that I need to approve them so I don't, so I don't get any kind of um, offensive videos coming through. And uh, yeah, keep checking in. You might see it grow. So that's this week's Tuesday Tech Tips. What do you want me to cover in future videos? Tell me in the Flipgrid or drop me an email. Thanks a lot. Bye. Hi, welcome back to another Tuesday Tech Tips. This week we're going to be exploring Flipgrid. Flipgrid's an online tool to increase student exploring Flipgrid. Flipgrid's an online tool to Flipgrid's an online tool Hi, welcome back to another Tuesday Tech Tips. This week we're going to be Oh! Hi, welcome back to another Tuesday Tech Tips. This week we're going to be exploring Flipgrid. Flipgrid's an online tool to Oh!